Hey, what's going on, Whole Foods team? Yeah, Kevin here with the Bronx Brewery in front of our center of operations here in the South Bronx on 136th Street. So gonna take you quickly behind the scenes. We're opening about half an hour in our tap room. So I want to bring you here on what is kind of amazing timing because it's the first time in five years that we've bottled the beer. So here we are in the tap room. About to hand label about 150 special edition bottles of our year-end IPA called Year Gone Hazy. Wax dipped, hand labeled, and like I said, it's the first time in half a decade we put a beer in a bottle, and the very last time we did it was alongside you guys. So this is one of the original bottles of No Resolutions, which we launched as a pilot with Whole Foods back in 2015, right around the holiday season, which over time became really one of our signature beers. And I think it speaks to the partnership, it speaks to the creativity, it speaks to the innovation, it speaks to how much we appreciate you and your team is that for so many people, when they think of the Bronx Brewery, they think of no resolutions. You can get it at Yankee Stadium, you can get it all around New York, and in a lot of ways it's become probably our most iconic beer. And that all came out of the experimentation and innovation with you and your team. So here we are in the brewery, finishing up on a Friday. I'm gonna give you a couple glimpses as to what goes on here, starting with our canning line. So we'll can up to about 400 cases on a busy day here. Just finished up a canning run for... Small Hawk Guy, IPA. Cool. It's Neville, it's one of our favorites. You can get that one at Whole Foods too. Now I'm gonna bring you up on the brew deck. And pretty much all of our limited releases, the majority of things that you get at Whole Foods are gonna come from these three kettles. So you've got our mash tun, you've got our brew kettle, you've got our whirlpool, and that goes all the way over my shoulder to the fermenting vessels over in that part of the building. So, and it all begins in our, in this room right here, where we take literal tons of grain for every batch and crush it the way that you would crush coffee. You still see some grain in there. That then goes from this room up to that big kettle right there into the mash tun where the whole brew process begins. So, you know, for us, one of the most special things about brewing here is that you probably don't expect there to be a brewery in this exact location. So, I'm gonna take you to the backyard, show you around everywhere, but one of the coolest things when you see people come to the Bronx Brewery is that you see the wide eyes. And even though they know it's a brewery, even though brewery is in the name, you'll get so many people that say, oh my God, I didn't realize you guys made the beer here. So one of my favorite things to do in all of New York City is go back here. So my first introduction to the Bronx Brewery is about five years ago. I'm walking out this door, literally changed my life. So to me, this is one of the best outdoor spaces and spaces period across all of New York City. It's a vibe unlike anywhere else in craft beer. You get people from all around the city, all around the world, coming together around this one thing. And it's, it's beautiful, it's incredible. When it's busy, we'll get anywhere from five to 600 people. Jam between the, the tap room and the backyard. We'll get hundreds in the backyard by itself. We get this incredible food partner in Ethnology. Murals all around the backyard, including our pretty much most iconic one right there. And this is one that for us really is our trademark. It, it shows everything that we want to be as a brand, everything we care about as a brand, from working with great up and coming artists, being able to bring people together, to being able to create a great space for New York City to come together. Thank you.